Guys, did you know you can learn to remove anything from your credit report like a professional in less than 24 hours? Guys, I'm not kidding. Imagine you removing everything from your credit report yourself and getting results like this, or even this, or maybe this. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna explain what credit is, how it works, and how you can basically remove everything from your credit report like a professional in less than 24 hours. Guys, I'm not going to explain one strategy. I'm not gonna explain two. I'm not gonna explain three. I'm gonna explain three different strategies that's going to allow you to go from beginner to expert in less than 24 hours guys stay tuned Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm Credit Coach Q, and I create the first cloud-based software that allows you to put your credit repair experience into your own hands. If you're new to the channel, I'm super, super excited because I have a banger in today's video. We're going to talk about how to become a professional in less than 24 hours. But before we get into the channel, guys, please like, subscribe to the video. It allows YouTube to push this content to a wider audience, and also allows YouTube to push this content within an algorithm and allows us to leave these lights on. Guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have anything derogatory in your credit report, I mean anything negative charge-offs late payments bankruptcies medical bills guys you name it please go over to mycreditapproved.com it's the website and the software that I was telling the, telling you about that allows you to put the full experience to your own hands guys people are removing thousands of dollars worth of debt by themselves they are no longer using credit repair companies that are putting this information in this experience into their own hands and appreciating on a deeper level guys please go to mycreditapproved.com check out the software and start removing these items guys if you have anything derogatory on your credit report now let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes of this video guys i'm super excited for this video because this is going to give you guys the full breakdown it might be the longest video i've ever done but in this video is going to give you clarity because i honestly think a recession is coming i've been talking about it on the channel for quite some time and i want to give you guys the perfect position to fix your credit yourself without depending on any credit repair companies or any friends that know credit professionals you're going to have the confidence and the wisdom and the knowledge to do this yourself and you're going to be able to have some pretty great tactics to actually go along with it so let's dive straight in it's going to be a long video so first let's talk about credit i'm going to go through a quick rundown on what credit is and then we're going to go dive straight into the strategy on how to remove these things like a professional right so the first thing you want to know about credit credit is broken down into a pie chart right so credit is broken down in five different variables we have payment history we have utilization we have new accounts we have credit mix and we have the length of credit history right so the payment history is going to give you your largest portion of data points for your credit report so the payment history is by far the most important and that is where all of your negative items are going to be on the spectrum and that's 35 percent the next 30 percent is going to be the amount owed. that is going to be the utilization that you have available for your open credit lines that's going to be a utilization so but basically 65% is broken down between those two variables. Another 15% is going to be the length of credit. So that's going to be your age that you have when it comes to credit. Then we have another 10% is for new credit, new types of accounts. And then we have a another 10% of credit mix. So that is the difference of types of credit that you have. That is, that is um, revolving credit, charge credit, utility credit, so many different variations of credit, installment credit. So that's going to be the full breakdown on how your credit is made up now what we need to do is work on the credit repair now it's two different types of credit uh, tackling right it's credit repair and it's credit building now once we get all the negative items removed we're going to go to another video that's going to explain to get you guys some active trade lines to start the credit building process because once we get your items removed we're not going to have that prime 800 score credit score yet because it's going to t turn your credit report to a high school's kids credit report and a high school kid doesn't have negative items on the credit report but they also can't go buy a Hellcat or a brand new home because they haven't built the credit so that is how credit basically works now let's dive straight into the juicy part in the meats and potatoes because it is a lot right so the first thing that you want to do when it comes to tackling your credit report is basically knowing the law that you have afforded to you now we're going to talk about the consumer law a little bit but you want to do your own due diligence especially 
especially if you are a new person looking to get into the credit repair space and actually starting a credit repair business if you're looking to go in that direction do you want to be able to basically know the law and so you will represent your clients appropriately now if this is just you trying to get some items removed from your personal credit this video is basically perfect for you because the strategy I'm going to give you is second to none seriously the strategy I'm going to give you is fire and if you don't get the things removed after you watch this video I'd be very very surprised so the first strategy we're going to talk about is called the 609 method now the 609 method is going to be a method that's basically broken down for beginners the 609 method is the method that we have inside of our MCA software our my credit approved software that we have that basically all of our students are using it is the cheapest and the fastest and more most effective way to remove anything from your credit report in 2023 by far we are award-winning company and we are that for a reason this software is very powerful and it puts the full experience in your own hands without it breaking the bank right so the 609 method is very powerful because it basically breaks down some of the consumer law that you have for you so section 609 of the fair credit reporting act stipulates that everything on your credit report have a contract attached to it right and the contract that's on your credit report has to have your signature and they they have to basically give you a copy of the credit report with the original signature that's section 609 now when you request that a lot of um, institutions and credit credit bureaus do not have the original hard copy of your signature so it gives us a lot of wiggle room to get the items removed right so you want to make sure that everything on your credit report is 100% accurate 100% timely and 100% verifiable right so with that being said that is going to give you everything that you need to understand the power that you have to get these items removed because if you don't know that everything on your credit report has to be 100 accurate so that means if a name a letter a date anything that's inaccurate or wrong on your credit report by law the credit bureaus have to remove it or fix it right so but in majority of the time they just remove it guys they have to remove it if everything is not 100 accurate verifiable or timely right so timely is the statute of limitations everything on your credit report is is under a time restriction we're going to talk about the statute of limitations i'm a little later in the video but you have to understand that everything on your credit report has a seven year window so if you're here and you've been having the item on your credit report for 13 years that is going to be the number one and the fastest way to get anything removed because it's past the statute of limitation window by law and there's really nothing to talk about it's not it's not going to be a fight it's not going to be a tussle or back and forth because they know that they are past the statute of limitation window to have your debt on their platform so they're going to automatically remove it so the first thing that you want to understand that you have a time period for all debt that's on your credit report now the time period that is going to be for the credit bureaus are not going to be the same time period for debt in your county or state now there is a statute of limitations for our debt that can be placed on credit uh, reports in that seven years and then they have a statute of limitations of debt that can be placed on your it's a statute of limitations of debt that can be rendered in your state right so it's two so still two statute of limitations one is seven years automatically and the other one is determined for what state you in now you want to make sure that you are looking uh, up the state that the statute of limitations is connected to so you can know how much time that's needed or how much time is allocated towards the debt to be removed that is fire advice guys statute of limitations is a very underserved tactic that people basically is not using anymore it is one of the most powerful and most basic ways to get any thing removed so guys the first thing you're looking at first thing you're looking at is the statute of limitation the statute of limitation is going to start not on the day that you open the account it's going to start on the last time you paid the amount guys the last time you paid the amount is going to start the statute of limitation debt and that's why i do not advise people to pay this debt because once you pay it off or start paying or make a settlement arrangement and make one dollar towards the debt the statute of limitation starts completely over so if you want a six year uh, window and you have this debt on your credit report for six years you have a couple months to get it removed if you come into some money and decide to pay it off the statute of limitations is going to start completely over and then you have to find a whole different way to get it removed which a lot of times can be harder because paid items is the hardest items to remove right so section 609 right now i'm going to go over to our software and show you exactly step by step on how we are using the 609 method to help a lot of individuals guys stay tuned
welcome back to the channel so guys like i said i'm going to show you exactly how to formulate your 609 method now guys just because i said this is going to be a a beginner's strategy doesn't mean that it's not powerful the 609 method is very powerful if you know how to use it correctly so let's dive straight in so this is going to be the my credit approved app that i created for you guys it's going to be the fastest most efficient way to remove you any and everything from your credit report and it's going to do it um the cheapest <clears throat> on the market so let's dive straight in so the first thing you want to go to start dispute right once you go to start dispute all of your information is going to populate once you get it imported so once you get everything imported all of your information is going to be populated right here it's going to show you all of the information on how it is portrayed on your credit report is going to show you the account number everything like that so what you want to do is you want to go here you want to file find something that is going to basically give you a reason to dispute it right so you can put erroneous unverifiable not correct wrong account misleading information i've paid as agreed i don't remember being late on this account find a reason for what you're disputing once you have the reason for every individual negative item you're going to scroll down and click create letter right um now once you get to this section you want to pay attention because this is going to be how you formulate the actual letter um you want to go right here to four step dispute letters this is the recommended option now this is the 609 method right now we do have hundreds and hundreds of other letters inside the platform but like i said this is for beginners and our software is structured for you to have a four month process turnaround with using the 609 method so this is going to be month one month two month three month four and these months is basically structured regardless of the response if the response is not a removal send out the month two send out month three send out month four you want to send out four months for the completion of this strategy um everything as far as the um verbiage is already in the letter so you don't have to worry about saying the right things but you are going to want to um create a personal statement and we're going to talk about that so let's create the letter you want to go so select month one uh, for training purposes i'm going to select one uh item and then we're going to scroll down to actually create the letter. It's going to be a lot of items because this is a dummy account. So as it loads, it's going to be basically populating the all three of your letters with the credit bureaus, right? So as you can see, six, section 609 require you for federal law through, um, through, through the physical verification of the original signed consumer contract. We talked about this it's going to basically ask for the original signed contract i'm just going to have your social your date of birth all your information is already populated and basically guys you can print everything from here you can save and proceed to print or you can only save guys you can print directly from here and it is going to give you everything that's needed now i definitely want you to add a personal statement to this now you can put um I reached out multiple times with no response. Inaccurate information. Please delete. Something like that, right? You're going to add a personal statement. This statement is going to give your letter its own identifier, it's going to give it its own. Um, algorithm is on custom approach is not going to be um, this is what's going to separate you from actually sending off a template the more you write um, your personal statement the more you're going to basically separate yourself and customize this format right so that's it guys once you get here you want to scroll down and you're going to select print guys and that'll be it your first letter will be ready to rock and roll and we'll be ready to go to the second round like i said if you do not get any um if you do not get the removals of everything from after the first round send them month two if you don't get it the month two you're going to send it to three the third round you should be getting deletions every round 
You might not get all of them removed the first round, but you want to have all of the items um, removed. If not all of them, majority of the items removed by round three or four. All right, guys, until next time, I'm going to send you back over to my main screen. So, guys, as you can see, the software is very powerful, and we are using it to help so many different people, guys. The software is very user-friendly, and it has thousands of different ways to, to use it to benefit for each individual person. So, let's talk about the second method, right? The second method is going to be called factual disputing, right? The first method was called 609, and the second method is called factual factual disputing. Factual disputing is basically finding facts to back up what you're disputing, right? So basically the first thing you want to do is go over your credit report. Go over your credit report and look at every item that's on your credit report and you need to look at it side by side for each individual bureau. So you want to see the Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian all on the same page so you can compare and contrast the information that's being reported, right? So as you can see on the credit report, is going to show you your account number is going to show you the account name is going to show you the balances and the dates right so what you're looking for now is basically inconsistencies with these dates right or with this information because like I said everything has to be 100% accurate 100% verifiable and 100% timely right so we already talked about the statute of limitations with the time we already talked about the 609 now we're talking about everything being 100% accurate right now 100% accurate meaning that everything in your credit report has to match up. If it doesn't match up, that means that something is wrong, right? So if your account number is 704 on Equifax and it is 907 on Experian, then obviously one of those are wrong, which means that one of them is inaccurate, which means that it is giving us room to remove, right? So one thing you want to do, like I said, compare and contrast and make sure that everything is accurate on the credit report. Once you find the inconsistencies, what you're going to do is basically highlight the inconsistency, screenshot it, circle it, and basically highlight the inconsistencies. And right next to the screenshot, you're going to put not correct and accurate, something along those lines to basically allow them to pinpoint the inaccuracies to make their job easier. Guys, right now, what you're doing, you are building your case. Now, let's rewind a little bit. The first thing that you want to do before your factual disputing is freeze your account. Now, we just released a video not too long ago about freezing your account and I want to go back and talk about the importance of it because I think that it is part of the recipe for factual disputing. Freezing your account is basically going to cut off the information that you have with the credit bureaus being shared to another credit bureau. Let me explain. So everything on your credit report is attached to information housed to a credit bureau. Now the most popular credit bureau that house all of your information is your LexisNexis. Your LexisNexis knows everything about you. It knows you every time you've been to court every time you've been arrested every time you got a new roof for your house everything your credit report all the data all of those data points every time basically you fill out an application for anything whether it was school job court anything like that that's on your net Lexus Nexus and what that information does is hurt you when it comes to these investigations because all they're gonna do is basically validate all of your information on your credit report by going to Lexus Nexus and validating it there but this is the kicker you can still stop them for, from getting that information from LexisNexis. You have the ability to freeze your LexisNexis and stop that pipeline of your information to be verified through a third party. You can go to the LexisNexis website, scroll down and freeze your account guys. And you want to do that with three, uh, three of the secondary bureaus, LexisNexis, SageStream and Enovis. Those bureaus house more information than you know. And if you stop the pipeline with them verifying the information and making sure that it's accurate you would basically cut off the window that they have to basically verify the information and make sure it's accurate so guys you want to go to make sure uh, Lexus Nexus and make sure that you are freezing everything now after you survey the credit report and see the inaccuracies and line them up what you're gonna do next is basically put yourself in a position to like I said screenshot it and now you're ready to send it off to the credit bureaus now I'm gonna go over to the my credit approval system again and show you 
step by step on how to actually use the factual dispute method guys stay tuned welcome back to the channel guys so this is going to be the factual disputing segment of the video and as you can see from the 609 this is going to be the my credit approved software that's going to allow you to remove everything so when once you import everything once you get everything signed up with the my credit approved import everything you're going to go here to start dispute once you go here, all of your importer items is going to be right here, just like your credit report, account name, type, reason, and the three bureaus that it's attached to. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to select the reason for your dispute. This is going to give the credit bureaus the identifier of why you're disputing the account, right? So you can select an accurate, misleading, validate account. This is a duplicate account, et cetera, et cetera once you do that and select which reason you want to go with you want to scroll down and go to create letter now now that we're here you're going to not go to four-step dispute letters i repeat you're not going to go to the four step you want to go to round two you're going to go to round two right once you go to round two you're going to have access to all of the uh, all of our library of letters uh, uh, letters that we have inside of our library which is hundreds and hundreds and we update these remove these quite um quite frequently so what you want to do is guys you want to go to factual disputing new letters round one and every round that they do not dispute the items i mean remove the items you going to continue to go all the way to round two i mean six so if they don't uh, dispute if they dispute one item and leave six go to round two they remove one item and leave five go to round three and you want to go and every round represent a month but you want to go to factual disputing new letters for round one factual disputing new letters for round one okay so once we go here we're going to select the item that we want to remove and then we're going to scroll down and then we're going to select enter right and the my credit approval is generating the information that's necessary for it and now we are here guys all of the information is on the letters um the account number everything associated in the verbiage now this is very important what i want you guys to do is to make sure that you are adding your own verbiage to these letters so i want everyone to have their own variation of text um to make sure that the letter is custom for you right so you can say that you can basically tell them your story of why you want the debt to be removed and your opinion on the debt so you can say something as easy as i haven't seen this debt before remove it immediately I'm a parent of two and single <laughs> and need it to be removed. Now guys, obviously I didn't say that right or type it, but I'm basically giving you a example of a your voice. You want to be your voice. Don't worry about saying everything perfect because the more real honestly the more mistakes that the letter has the more genuine voice today that um that comes off from the letter and that basically gives you a higher chance of getting the items removed now like i said if they don't remove it after this time you want to go to round two next month round three the third month round four all the way up to round six and i'm almost sure guys you're not going to have to worry about it. if you have the statute of limitation on your side 609 factual disputing and you're freezing your account guys this video is going to help a lot of people remove things themselves stop hiring credit repair companies to do this and do it yourself i'm gonna head over back to the video and peace i told you guys now welcome back to the video i wanted to basically show you guys how powerful the factual dispute method is within our software guys and you can use that now the factual disputing is a little bit hardcore the 609 is the for beginners majority of the time it is still a very powerful method the factual dispute method is a very powerful method as well now this last method this last method is a kicker and i am so confident that if you use either of 
of these methods, you're going to have success in removing all of the information. I have a question for you guys. Do you have the confidence or are you gaining the confidence with this video? If you are, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel and, and basically allow us to grow the content so we can help as many people as possible. Let me know in the comment section if you are getting help from this video. Now, let's talk about this last method. This last method is going to be tricky because it is a little sneaky. You're going to be sent a trap for the credit bureaus before you even send out your dispute letter. This trap is going to basically put the credit bureaus in a backwards position where they're going to be caught with a pants between their legs. Let me explain. So what we're going to do is basically ask the credit bureaus first if everything for them to verify all of the information on your credit report right now everything on your credit report like i said in the factual dispute method that everything has to be 100 accurate 100 verifiable and 100 timely now this method is going to not only go through transunion equifax and experian but we're also going to go through the cfpb the cfpb stands for the consumer financial protection bureau and that is going to be the government of the credit bureau so we're going to set a trap for the credit bureaus and then we're going to go to the CFPB. Let me explain. So first thing we're, wanna, we're going to do is basically, like I said, draft a letter in the MCA software that basically is going to ask them to just to verify. We're not asking them to remove. We're not asking them to delete anything. We're just asking them to verify everything, right? Right. So once they verify everything and you have already went through the credit report and surveyed all of the inconsistencies, you want to find the inconsistencies of every debt that you're looking to dispute prior to sending any letter. Once you find the inconsistencies, you're going to go to the My Credit Approve application, find the letter called the YouTube Setup Letter, call that for a reason, and then you're going to ask them to basically verify everything. You're going to send that letter off, and once you do, wait. Once you get a response from the credit bureaus and they verify that everything on your credit report is accurate, the trap has been set, right? So now I'm going to go back in my back office again and show you guys step by step on how to set up the complaint with the CFPB and what to do next to finish setting up the trap perfectly guys stay tuned welcome back to the channel guys so right now this is last but not least but this is going to be in my opinion the most fire out of the other strategies that we talked about in the video so like I said today we're going to set the trap and the trap is going to put them in a position where they have no other choice but to remove the the debt. So let's dive straight in. So as you are probably already know, this is going to be the My Credit Approved software. Um, you already know to select the reason. Um, once you do that, you're going to scroll down, and we're going to get straight to the round two choice. We're not going to go to round one. 609 for round one we're going to go to six uh, we're going to go to round two and that's going to scroll us down until we find the 609 i mean the youtube uh setup letter right so it's going to be the credit bureau letter youtube setup letter it looks like if you scroll all the way down it's going to be um probably in the middle of the page so youtube setup letter you want to click that and then for example purposes we are going to only dispute one account and then we're going to scroll down and then the software is going to generate the dispute letter for us right so this is the youtube setup letter i love this letter because guys this letter has removed hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of debt just because it is so powerful you're not asking them to remove it you're basically just asking them to um verify the debt right you're not going to ask them to remove you're just going to ask them to verify the debt once you ask them to verify the debt they are going to basically send you a letter saying that everything's been verified and once you go back to your credit report and refresh it the following month if the items are still showing those inconsistencies then we have laid the trap so now i'm going to go over to the cfpb website and show you how to file a complaint to get them to remove the debt and not the credit bureaus guys stay tuned so this is the CFPB, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau website. This is what it looks like. You want to go here and click submit a complaint. Now, once you click submit submit a complaint, I've already logged in. You're going to want to log in and create an account. Once you do that, um, 
is going to say this. It's going to say, what is you complaining about, basically? And you want to scroll down to see credit reporting and personal consumer. Then you're going to scroll down to credit reporting. Then it's going to load up. And then we're going to go to improper use of your credit report, right? And then we're going to scroll down. And then we're going to get to reporting company used to report improperly. Have you tried to fix this yourself with the company? Yes, we already set the trap. The trap is already set, baby. Yes. You could put, we have requested a letter of verification of accurate Debt, right no let's go right so this the next screen is going to be the screen where you're going to put all the juicy details of your investigation so this screen is going to be basically um, be added all of the debt the account number and everything that you have built as far as your case um, since you have um, started with the trap letter so everything that you have accumulated of as far as the original letter the original trap that was set as far as the um the screenshot of information that was inaccurate all of that information is going to go here now what you're going to put here is going to be determined on your debt so right now we're going to put a hold on so what we're going to put is this in accordance with the fair credit reporting act convergent account this is the name of the account and then you put the account number um one two three four five and then has violated <laughs> this is amazing violated my rights right this is your consumer rights guys 15 u s c 1681 section 602 a states i have the right to privacy right Base 15 USC section 1681 section 604 via 609 this is 604 section 2 it also states the consumer reporting agency cannot furnish a account without my written instructions instructions okay then do you want to add more okay now what you want to put after this is anything else that you can add um that you can think to add towards the account so like i said this is going to be personal i don't want you guys to take um a script and go with it because it's going to lose value and then it's going to just uh, basically phase out. So I want you guys to add your own text, your own account numbers, your own information, your own story outside of this. This is just going to give you the legal jargon that's needed to get the item removed. And then you're going to say, I want the pub to, to do that. What would be a fair resolution? Delete it. Right? 
and then we're going to attach all the documents we're going to attach the credit report we're going to attach the screenshot uh credit report with the inaccuracies we're going to uh, attach the updated response of them saying that everything is verified and still and accurate this is where we're going to build the case and then we're going to, go to step five we're going to put the company name let's do transunion we're going to put the there you go and then you're going to put your date of birth your social do you want to complain about another company? Yes. And then you just want to continue to go with Equifax, Experian, etc. Right? I'm going to set the notes so I can go to the next screen. And then you're going to uh, verify everything um, associated with your account. Who are submitting to the plan for you? Myself. This is very important because if you do it yourself, they're not going to, uh, if you let someone else do it, they're not going to take the case. They're going to send you a letter saying that you basically have to do it yourself, which is giving them more time and you less time to get the items removed okay so i'm going to go back to my screen and guys this is a killer method let me know in the comments how you feel about it till next time and there you have it guys those are the three strategies that allow you guys to learn how to fix your credit like a professional in less than 24 hours i don't think we haven't been here for an hour yet but in today's video you're going you already have learned strategies that most people most credit professionals don't even know most credit professionals just use templates for your profile today i've taught you guys strategies that each individual person can use step by step and now you are ready to handle everything with the utmost confidence and get those items removed guys let me know in the comment section how this video have been for you have um let me know once you use the video give me a feedback on the strategies and how they work for you because i'm very very interested guys until next time take care of your credit and take care of yourself credit coach you out